Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here and very, very exciting ColourPop launch happening today. We are getting nine new shades of Super Shock Shadows. They're launching on the ColourPop website on Wednesday, May 5th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you're not sure what time that is where you live, just Google your time zone. That way you make sure you know where you're at time-wise. The launch day price for these will be $5 each. They are on sale the day they launch. And then I believe the regular price will go back up to $6 each. That's what the current permanent, just regular non-special collection Super Shocks are priced at right now. So I'm just assuming they haven't officially announced that as the permanent price, but I'm guessing based on their other products on their site that they will be $6 a piece after this sale promo ends. Typically, you cannot stack a discount code with a sale. So if you're catching this after the sale day, you can use the code AMANDA to save 10% on your order, but I don't think that you'll be able to apply that to the sale day price. Let's go ahead and take a close-up look at each one of these nine Super Shock Shadows now. They come in just the regular packaging. The outer box hasn't changed at all in a while. It's just this little cute purple outer cardboard box with little eyelash prints on it. And it does have a reminder on here to keep the jar closed tightly when you're not using it. These can dry out pretty easily. Sometimes I see people asking about depotting these. Please do not depot your Super Shock shadows. They'll dry out. I have a whole video actually about Super Shock shadows. If you ever struggle to use your Super Shocks, applying them or repairing them, reviving them if they dry up, I have a whole video about that. I'll link that down in the description box for you. These do not have any special packaging. They're just the regular little screw top pots. They have the plain white outer packaging with the ColourPop logo on the front. And when you look on the back, it will tell you the shade name and what the finish is. All nine of these new shades are the ultra glitters, but you'll see that there's quite a wide variety of finishes and opacities within this ultra glitter line. So this one, for example, Moon Daisy is kind of sheer. You can tell it would be a nice topper. I am going to do just a little handful of comparisons for each one of these shades. I get so many comments about how much you love these comparisons and how helpful they are. And I really like them too. So I'm going to do a little handful of comparisons for each one of these shades. A lot of the Super Shock shadows of old have been discontinued for a long time. So I hope that these comparisons are helpful, not just to prevent you from buying things that are basically duplicates in your own collection, but also if you are missing a shade something you missed out on that you wished you got your hands on and you never could, maybe you can find something kind of similar amongst the new releases that can fill that void in your collection. A lot of the more neutral shades, for example, this one Ladybug and some of the other kind of golden bronzy shades aren't quite as unique. I do have a pretty extensive Super Shock collection. I have been collecting them for many, many years. So these aren't quite as unique, but there are a couple shades in here that while I could find decent comparisons for them, even with a very extensive Super Shock collection that I have, I didn't find a bunch of really dead on dupes. So I'm glad to see that. I'm overall just glad to see some new Super Shock Shadow Shades. This is their flagship product. It's the first thing they came out with and it was really what put them on the map and what made a lot of people, myself included, fall in love with the ColourPop brand to begin with. So it's always great to see them sort of going back to their roots and releasing a bunch of new Super Shock Shadow Shades. 
even with just nine shades in this little collection, I do think that there's something for everyone. There's a nice balance between some very neutral, more, you know, air quotes, everyday wearable colors. For example, this one, Secret Garden. It's a pretty goldy rose gold shimmer lid shade. A lot of people are going to like this. A lot of people are going to be comfortable with this and it's going to be very flattering on a lot of different people, different styles, different skin tones, but it's also great to see them doing some really fun, really vibrant colors in here as well. So there's definitely a little something for everyone and I think you're going to be maybe surprised to hear that my personal favorite shade is the very first one that we looked at, that really soft blue shimmer called Moon Daisy. I cannot believe that that's the one I've been gravitating towards the most, but it makes such a beautiful topper type of shade. If you saw my favorites video that I posted on Monday, I used that Moon Daisy shade in a very, very similar way that I've been using the Kaleidos Space Age Prophecy highlighter, just tapping it right on the center of the lid over top of another color to just add some shine, some dimension, and it has a beautiful softness to it, but it's still kind of fun and funky since it does have that blue shift. Also, a little side note for the rosebud comparisons here, I could not find my Wild Child Super Shock Shadows. I didn't put them in my normal organizer. I'm sure I just stuck them somewhere strange when I was cleaning up and I really wanted to do comparisons with this one and the Wild Child Collection Super Shocks, but I just, I don't know where I put them. I'm going to have to tear this place apart, so apologies for that. I know that would have been a great comparison, but... I'll try to locate those and I'll try to do some comparisons on my Instagram stories soon. I want to point out as we're looking at the swatch for this shadow called Chirp, which is another one of my favorites, look at how different the base is in this one compared to Moon Daisy. This one is so much more opaque and nothing at all like a topper type of shade like Moon Daisy is. So even though these are all called ultra glitter finishes, there are quite a wide range of finishes within this name. I don't really love that. It's always been that way with the Super Shock Shadows. And I think from a consumer point of view, that is a little bit confusing. I wish they would do something more to differentiate between what they name the finishes and what these shadows actually look like applied to the skin. It just isn't very useful in my opinion, but I guess that's just one gal's opinion. Now, here's another one of the really, really bright shades. This one's called Fruit Punch, and this one is so much fun. It's definitely not my go-to type of color, but I love that they are venturing into these really bright shades. Singles are a great way to introduce a color like this into your collection if you are a little bit nervous about doing something so bright. And I did want to compare this shade to one pressed single. So the one you see on the end there, the shade called Mary Jane, it is a single pressed eyeshadow and it's also part of the Just My Luck palette. But I felt like the color was so, so similar that I was curious to see them compared. So I figured that you might be as well. As we move into the last two shades, this one called Heads Up, which is a really, really pretty rich red. It reminds me of red velvet cupcake and that makes me happy and hungry at the same time. Okay, I'm distracted now. This one heads up and the purpley pinky one you're going to see at the end called You Are My Sunshine. These two have left a little bit of staining behind on my arm. Heads up doesn't do it quite as intensely as the very last shade You Are My Sunshine does, but I did just want to point that out in case you are somebody who has a lot of issues with staining. The red and the purpley pink shade from this collection definitely left some 
footprints behind after swatching. Now this one, You Are My Sunshine, it has a little bit of a blue shift to it and it looks a lot more purple in the pan than it does applied to the skin. Once it's actually swatched out on the skin, it looks quite bright pink, at least on me. I'm sure different skin tones are going to react a little bit differently with a shade like this. I was sort of nervous that because these shades left a stain that they may not be eye safe, but ColourPop is, I will say, they are great about giving eye safety warnings and in the past when their super shock shadows were not recommended for use in the eye area they would do two major things the ones that aren't eye safe they call super shock pigments instead of super shock shadows and they put a warning on the back label i'll show you an older shade here it says super shock press pigment and it says not for eye area and none of these new shades have either one of these markings on the back you just saw the backs of all of them so all of these are going to be eye safe okay that's it i hope that i got all the information out there that i needed to i hope that this video was helpful i would love to hear what you think about these new super shock shadow shades which ones are you picking up? Are you interested? Are you going to just wait and see? I always love to hear what you think about things too. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. You know I can't end a video without telling you that I love your face because I love your face so freaking much. Okay. All right. For real this time. Bye.